okay today. I told you guys I would do a um, iRobot um, review. Some of you guys really wanted to see this uh, product in action, so uh, here it is. This is the iRobot Luge uh, gutter cleaning robot. It uh, is the 330 series. I think you can see that there. Um, That's what it looks like on the front. Yep, nice. Yeah, okay. Um, there's the other end, some specifications. And here on the back, let's, uh, let's do a little reading. So it says uh, thorough cleaning, four stage auger, lifts, spins, dislodges wet leaves, pine needles, leather debris, uh, travels along your gutter on its own to clean. It has its own cleaning mode. Hmm. Sensing and adapting to debris for the most effective cleaning. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, increased safety. Reduces repeated ladder climbing. Okay, I can gig on that. We'll see. So, uh, I have uh, put it together here. This is what it looks like. Nice, nice size, right? Okay, you snap in the head. Uh, and basically the battery goes in this little compartment right here. So we'll take and put that in there. Uh, I think it goes like this. This is face up, yeah. All right. Well, okay. I didn't click very hard, but well, let's see. Let's see if it works. Yep, turns on. So I guess we're in uh, good shape there. So, all right, well, let's head out and I'll, uh, do a little gutter cleaning. Like I said, I got a pretty dirty gutter, so uh, this will be really interesting to see. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll give the final review after uh, after we take it out and put it through its paces. Okay. So we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on. All right. Place it in to it. I like to turn over. As you can see, these gutters are pretty dirty.
So, the only other thing I should have done was probably bring a bag because now I'm going to get my pants on. But, all in all, that's a pretty good tool. Um, Iron Robot, keep it up because you can see how high I am. I don't really want to clean that but, you know, on the ladder. So, you know, that's how high we are. Alright, I'll give a I'll give a review once I get back down on the ground. Alright, pull it off. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. I should have brought the bag up. But oh well. So we're gonna take off this, maybe. Okay, it says to take it off. And then you take the tracks off. Okay, tracks come off. This cannot get wet. It says this is not waterproof, so we're going to put it over here for a minute. Oh. Alright, let's rinse this baby off. I think you're supposed to take the battery out of it too, but um, I don't think I can get the battery door open without rinsing it first. Got a lot of grime in my thing. Alright. Okay, that's all cleaned up pretty much. Cleans up pretty easy, pretty swift. Put it over here for a minute and wash these off. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for it. Um, I'm gonna turn everything off here and then go inside and I'll do a, another review. Sit down where I'm not freezing off. So, all right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. Um, I've gotten everything cleaned up now. Um, and I've put the battery on the charger and it's uh, already charged it's only been about a half an hour that the battery's uh, been charged um, here's the battery right here you can see it's not very big um, and uh, you know it's it's done so this this is our um, iRobot I am most impressed with this uh, we put it through a pretty clogged up gutter. It had mud in it and some sludge and lots of leaves from old oak trees that we have here on our property. And uh, it, you know, it plowed right through it. Um, this, uh, as you can see, it kind of has like a little bitty uh, squeegee right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's, uh, I think... If you had less dirty gutters, this would be a nice little thing to push the dirt on down or you know, push it forward and then it backs up. Um, the remote, nice little remote, you can see that. That's front and back. It has clean, uh, which is the auto setting, and then right left, uh, which ejects the um, uh, debris out either to the right or the left. Uh, pretty easy to use, and it also has a center so you can bring it back Know, without it spinning or you know if it gets hung up or something um, all in all though I really like this product it, it, it was a nice easy fun way to do was it any faster I don't know um, it sure was fun though uh, we I had an absolute blast with this thing uh, it seems to be well thought out because the um, little handle clicks back on it and then you have a little connector here that allows you to hook it onto the handle and you get this kind of uh, nice secureness 
It's not super secure, but it does keep it on there uh, on your belt. Um, here is the head. So I put the big floppies on. Uh, they have some smaller ones that are probably about this big. Uh, they're called compact. Those are just the two that comes with it. Uh, you can buy some other ones. I don't know exactly what they do. I think there's one that's a flipper or something like that. But this is definitely a um, this definitely worked well with mine. And I have like three or four inch gutters. And the gutters that we cleaned was probably 50 to 70 feet long. It didn't run out of power. It didn't get it got hung up a couple times I guess but it was easy to like get it and I guess this would be a nice little feature you can put in a um, I guess a rope in case it gets stuck and then you can just tow it back I didn't use that though I should have probably but you know everything said it all worked fine so uh, the only questions I have for it oh here's the battery charger for it it's just a little standard thing put your battery in like that um, see it goes right in it charges it seems to be some sort of a rapid charger very nice product um, a lot like a DeWalt or something like that you would use uh, as far as charging okay so the only questions I have with it is is this battery going to last you know over multiple seasons um, I'm sure they're not cheap to buy I've had a um, iRobot vacuum cleaner and the vacuum cleaner battery died so I bought a new one and then I put a new one in and the iRobot just totally crapped out so uh, I even tried to take it apart look at it you know called iRobot and said hey my robots freaking out and they were like oh well you're out of warranty which I can understand but uh, we'll sell you a new one if you like it. And I said, no, no thanks. Uh, there's too many other products out there on the market now that uh, uh, we can look at. And that's another discussion, though. I could possibly be buying a, a new robot vacuum, and I'll let you know. We'll do a review on that. So, all in all, very good product. Uh, I would recommend it. I paid $129 for this one. Uh, they go up to $299. I wouldn't pay that for it. $199 might. I might pay. Um, it it would have to be, you know, I'd have to know for sure what the length of time and use it's going to be. So, uh, it, when I pull this out, it said to clean it, you know, make sure the battery's charged and everything. So, I'm going to do as it says right in the instructions. So, next year when I pull it out, if it's dead, I may have a different review of this for you. And depending on, you know, iRobot's response, um, we may see, you know, a different review. So, but so far, so good. I would highly recommend this product. Great product. Um, it was fun to use. It was so much fun. It was uh, the auto clean feature worked well. I wouldn't use it on really stuffed gutters at first. I would just do a manual drive um, and uh, clear out the gutters then. But other than that, I would say go get this. If it was for $150 or if you found one for $150, bucks, it is definitely worth it. So, well, I thank you guys. Um, if you have anything else you want to review, send me a message in the uh, comments below and I'll go buy it and I'll review it. I'll put it through the real world for you. So, thanks for watching. Until next time. Thanks. <laughs>